Okay, guys, I am not very good at doing magic tricks. I do not practice them. Um, but I, I am trying to, um, what's the word, um, develop this one trick. Okay, so, so what I need you to do is I need you to participate, and I need you to pick... Pick a card, any card, dude, pick a card. So you're gonna like, mm, randomly pick, I don't care which, whichever, whichever card you want, I don't care. I'm just gonna say that you picked this card here. Okay, it's the Jack. Okay, so pay close attention here. I'm gonna put it back into the deck somewhere just randomly, just, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. And then I'm not very good at shuffling. But let's just pretend I was good at shuffling and I was like shuffling and blah, blah, blah. And the reason why I'm not shuffling like really good is because dude, it would explode. It would explode the deck. Let me, let me try to, sh let me just try I'm gonna back over here. So, so you can actually see me making an, an attempt, ugh, an attempt to shuffle. Okay. So is that good guys? Is that good enough? Okay. So now Cut the deck. Cut the deck again. Cut it thinner. Cut it thicker. It doesn't matter. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. And then, do you remember what that card was? Because I don't. <laughs> Sorry. But it should be right there. Bam! Okay, good. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's a pretty good trick, right? So let me, let me cut the deck again. Make sure you, you guys see me cutting the deck. Okay, there, are, there is no smoke and mirrors here, right? No smoke and mirrors. What should the card be on the top? Hmm? Now, here's here's the magic. If you didn't think that was magic enough, I just, bam, do that. I go, and then I cut it randomly somewhere in the middle. There, I don't care. Guys, maybe I should quit building cigar box guitars and start touring as a magician. Okay, are you guys paying attention? Are you paying attention? But wait, how does he do that? I don't know. You guys paying attention? <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> guys. All right. Seriously? Seriously. You want to do it again? You want to do it again? Do you want to do it again? Just kidding. I ain't got the time. I ain't got the time and you ain't got the time. I don't want to bore you guys to death. I need to get, I need to get to working. Um, need to package this guy up, tune it up and then package it up. And then I need to package this guy up as well. Um, I'm going to put a little outro at the end of this video that shows me chopping down a tree. You heard that right guys, chopping down a tree. So not only does Mr. Puckett build, play, sell, demonstrate three string cigar box guitars, but I'm also multi-talented in many areas, dude, many areas. All right, guys, stick, st stick around for this video. It's gonna be funny and informative. Okay, guys, remember this four stringer? I originally had it tuned E, B, E, but the customer was wondering if I could tune it up to G, D, G. And I says, heck yeah. So now we're tuned G, D, G. We're unplugged. And I reset the intonation. When I reset the intonation, I, I tilt this thing and I move it back and forth to make sure that the harmonics are the same notes as the, as the, as the fretted note. So it's, I want to say it's easy. I mean, I, I, I've done, I've done it enough times where I got pretty good at it, but I do use a tuner and I just micro, I, I get this thing exact. Now, if you're going to change strings or change tunings, obviously that's going to affect where your harmonics line up. So it, anytime I change strings, anytime I change the tuning from in this case here, E up to G, then I have to adjust this thing here ever so slightly to get it to be...
I like it to be in tune all the way up and down the neck. That's just me. Another thing I've been doing lately for these straps is I've just putting these little eye hooks on here on the bottom and then a rope or string or a piece of leather. And on this side here, it's just, it's just a, a knot. But if on this side here, I give a little extra slack, a little zip tie here. So if you want to change the height of this thing here, you just um, cut your zip tie and put a new one on, or you can actually probably just stretch this through. And then there's another eyelet here that just kind of holds it in place on this side here. And I put it here so that it's, so it's out of your hand's way when you're doing all the chords and it's out of the tuner's way when you're tuning. A lot of times when I would put it here, then it interferes with this tuner here, unless you just have one, it's still kind of, it's, it's kind of in the way. So this kind of here, I kill, kill many birds with one stone. First off, simple, dude, come on, simple, simple, simple. Two, out of the hand's way. Three, fully adjustable and definitely strong. And four, out of the way of the tuners. And five, it's very cost effective. Oh my gosh. And you can use anything here. You don't have to use this awesome rope that's been recycled how many times? Who knows? But you can, you can, you know, obviously customize this to be anything you want. <clears throat> that being said, you can actually go down to uh, feed stores or you can go to hobby stores and find pieces of leather. And I've done that in the past and I've got a bunch of leather over here in the past or in the box down there. But, you know, a lot of these are short pieces you have to tie together. And, you know, I just like the idea of DIY, you know, re upcycle, recycle, whatever you want to call it here. And um, just kind of makes it cool. And that's just my opinion, guys. It's just, just my opinion. Okay, so I'm going to play a little, a little ditty here. And um, I don't even know what I'm going to play. I'm going to improvise, but I want to play these harmonics. Because they sound so chimey, in my opinion. The... Here's some chiming doxology. Four strings are one string, two, many. Truth be told, it's hard for me to take this thing off and to 
pack it up and ship it off. I just want to sit here and play this thing all day. Ugh, can't do it. So in order to ship these things off safe and sound to the customers, I get the box that is oversized, 36 by 10 by 6. And we are going to double, triple reinforce with tape. And I also, I also got these nice um, pillows, you can call them pillows. They're uh, nice and fluffy. Little, these things work great for um, packing in, making everything extra secure and safe. And sometimes, not always, throw in a t-shirt. Yay. And then sometimes, not always, we're going to throw in some custom cigar box guitar picks. Complete with John 316. Sometimes, but not always, I'll throw in a man card. Sometimes, but not always, I'll throw in some stickers. Plural. Sometimes, but not always, I'll throw in a leather strap. Sometimes, but not always, I'll throw in a dead chicken. And sometimes, but not always, I'll throw in an extra saddle with higher action so that if you're a slide player, you can get those strings to be really high and not buzzing. Sometimes, but not always, I forget to sign the back and I ship it off without serial number or signature. And sometimes, but not always, I'll include the round to it or the Bitcoin, depending on what you want to call it. I also got a trash bag. Trash bag? And you know, I don't always do this and you don't have to do this, but it's kind of a nice little way to keep it so that no moisture gets in there. Ah, good idea, huh? Sometimes, but not always, I put this super strong, heavy duty tape all the way around the box to ensure that nothing happens. All right, guys, here I am with my buddy, Chad. Yay, smile, Chad. Hey. And then Chorus. Hey, guys. Chorus is the, uh, what, what do you do, Chorus? You're, you're like, I produce the show. He's the producer, oh my gosh. Okay, so we are, we're actually doing a podcast, man. This is like a crazy, this is a legit studio, dude. I'm just gonna, real, real quick, dude, I'm just gonna like walk out and just like do a shot real quick. Um, yeah, it's a huge, huge room, auditorium with different sets, crazy stuff, all sorts of equipment, all sorts of crazy equipment. But anyhow, so I'm a long, lifelong friend, my buddy Chad here, he invited me to do his, do, a, do his podcast. And so I'm going to, I'm going to send everybody to Chad's podcast. The link will be right here, guys, right here. So is this can, live live now? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, it's not live. Not now, but it will be live, right? In just a little bit. For goodness sake is the name. And uh, it's the Common Union, right? Common yeah. Union on YouTube. So we're going to go. We're going to go. As soon as you're done watching this video, you're going to go watch me again on Chad's podcast. All right. All right. We, we, we wrapped up the podcast and now these guys are like jamming, dude.
Story. While I'm playing this thing, I'm a hard, a heavy hitter. Dude. Yeah. You know, I attack and bend, you know, I'm basically destroying this thing because it's a cigar box guitar. It's, it's made yeah. of, you know, cardboard and paper and stuff. And everybody asked me, did you build that? And I'm like, no, no, no. I, I tell them the story. But then I got to thinking, it's like, I probably could build one of these things. I've, I've built guitars in the past, you know, parts casters and stuff. And so I, as I'm thinking, it's like, well, shoot, man, if, if I ever did build one, man, I could trick it out. I could rip apart some, some distortion pedals and I could put some electronics in there and, you know, make, make little secret switches to make it sound like a flanger or whatever. I could put like real pickups in it and get all, you know, jakey. And so I started building building one. Uh, my ne next door neighbor comes over. He's like, hey, wh what are you doing? I'm building a cigar. Oh, really, man? Can you build me one? And so one led to two, led to three. And How many of you made now? Dude, I'm, I'm knocking on the door of 500. Dude. Wow. I'm knocking on the door of 500. So you got nails, um, solder burns, hinges. I mean, the whole thing is meant to be DIY. Um, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. made this one for me. Ba it's like a band guitar. Yeah. It's got like a, a resonator top. Resonator. So it just sounds real Southern, really. Yeah. crazy me and mojo we're up here in, up in the mountains it's beautiful and i brought my little hatchet and uh i'm gonna go chop down that tree right there that one right there because it's dead and standing let's go take a look at it there's the truck and where's the tree there it is that sucker's so tall all right, this is the base of the tree, and it is massive. I'm gonna be here all day long. Sheesh, look at that. What do you think, Moj? Hear all the crickets and locusts? They're pissed off at me chopping down the tree. Guys, this is gonna take forever, dude, seriously. Ugh. See the lengths I go to to build a cigar box guitar neck. Mojo just wants, just wants to play fetch. Hi, Mojo. All right. Where's Mojo? There he is. Ready? Go get him. Good dog. All right, forget that noise, dude. I'm going to grab the chainsaw.
Dang, dude. Like even the branches would be. Look at that, perfect, right toward the truck. Yeah. Gosh, look at the hole that that thing made. Dang.